Okay guys, uh, welcome to another Mully video guide. Today we're going to be doing it on Jungle Udir. Um, I like to start Boots 3 Pots on Udir just because movement speed is really important on him. Uh, but as you know from most of my videos, I start pretty Boots 3 Pots on pretty much everyone. Um, Do not deny I like to start Phoenix Dance as Udir. Uh, Tiger Jungle can work, but just with the way uh, a lot of people have been playing Udir lately, Phoenix is just the way to go. It increases your clear time because of the AoE, and it doesn't do as much damage as Tiger, but it enables you to be that uh, that damage-soaking tank, and then you kind of build like an on-hit kind of build and do a lot of damage that way. So um, first and foremost, as I say in most of my videos, you got to have this skin. This skin is is the best. Turn into animals and, and awesome stuff like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Alright, um, as far as runes go, I run movement speed quince, just because uh, Udir doesn't have any ranged abilities, so um, so it's always good to have extra movement speed with him, because uh, you have to keep up with people in order to continue stunning them, so movement speed quince are pretty much a must on Udir. I run attack speed reds, just because attack speed is... It's really good because of his Phoenix stance and his on hit. Looks like I'm going to be starting red this game. Or, yeah, we can just go there blue. That's that's another option. Uh, for yellows, I start armor yellows. Uh, armor yellows are pretty much the only way to go in the jungle. It, it's really the only way you can clear effectively. And um, magic resist per level blue just for extra tankiness late game. Because that's pretty much your main goal as Udyr. You can build as Udyr. You can build extremely tanky. And... Um, and still be able to do a lot of damage with Wits End and Phoenix Stance. So that's, that's pretty much the gist of how Udyr works. Uh, for Masteries, I like to take uh, 21 in Defense and then 9 in uh, Utility with the extra movement speed and uh, the extra mana and the uh, buff generation. Alright, so I had to get Bear Stance at level 2, which kind of sucks, but it scared them off. So uh, it's it was worth it. <clears throat> Do not deny your instincts, summoner. So yeah, with the movement speed masteries, movement speed quints, and bear form, and once you have your tier two boots, you deer's pretty 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 fast. All right, so my mid gave up first blood there. Not a huge deal. I think we'll be all right in the end. Looks like it's Wukong jungle. No, oh, no, it's not Wukong jungle. It's just a weird level one play. Probably gonna take a lot of damage from these golems, which sucks. Because normally I would have turtle stance to mitigate some of this damage, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to go back before I do red. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to do wolves and then come back and get my red. Which is kind of risky, seeing as how their jungler could come take it. Well, I'm just going to go back now, because I saw their jungler down here. So that's kind of a weird level 1, but... Weird, weird start to the jungle, but it's not a big deal. Hmm, what do I want to get? Don't really have enough to get what I want. They have a lot of AD, so I think I'm going to go armor boots. So I'll just work towards that, get a ward, go, go back for my red. Since I have blue buff, I can spam bear form to get around faster. It's always nice. So yeah, I have 452 movement speed with tier 1 boots and bear form. So that goes up to almost 500 when I have tier 2 boots. Just gonna spam between these two forms to um, keep myself at as much health as possible. That way I don't have to go back. I am already out of pots. So it looks like my mid's probably gonna need help first. Katarina is just she's still not a very good mid. And it's not really something Riot can fix. Like they would have to change her completely. She's just not a not a caster. I don't know. She's just not very good. Alright, so we might be able to get something here, but I'm not sure. Can't switch forms. Damn. Well, we made him waste flash. I had to waste mine, but... 
I can come back sooner than you can, so. It looks like my mid's just gonna get camped. She, she saw that and is still gonna die. That's it's pretty rough. Oh, she didn't die. She didn't die. That's good. That's good. All right, so my blue buff's gone, so I kind of have to stop spamming. This is really annoying. Because my mid is losing, it's they can counter jungle me really easily. Because as a mid player, you're like the number one candidate to help out your jungler. So it's kind of rough um, having a mid that's so far behind. So I'm going to go for that quick heart of gold. I know some of you are like, oh, why, is, why isn't he going uh, uh, Philosopher's Stone? I'm not a fan of Philosopher's Stone on a deer. I don't think he has mana problems, so I don't like to get it. I mean, I guess Shirelius would be good on him, but... I don't know, I've just never built it and never really worried about it. And New Deer's one of my highest played champions in in solo queue, so I just kinda leave it at that. Don't really worry about it too much. I know if I don't get any kills or assists sometime soon, I'll probably build Philosopher Stone second. But this game is not not looking promising, so Yeah, I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything to that Lulu, so we'll just clear this and go about our business. Alright, so we did manage to catch up a little bit, which is good. Oh, I should probably talk about skills. Um, so I like to max uh, Phoenix Stance first. Uh, I normally get Turtle Stance at level 2, like I said earlier. And then um, you get Phoenix Stance at level 3 and then Bear Stance at level 4. Um, I usually try to get Tiger on levels 8 to 10, just because that's usually the time where turrets start to go down. And Tiger is really good for single target damage. So for doing objectives and taking turrets and stuff like that, Tiger is is really good. So I like to get that around then. And I max Phoenix first, max Turtle second, max Bear third. Our rage is beyond your control. So we're gonna clear these wolves. I was gonna say we could look to go top, but it looks like top is doing okay. That is our path. Blue is up. And since Katarina doesn't need it, I'll just be taking it. I could give it to Wukong, but he's too far away, and they also might have this timed. So I don't want to take the chance of uh, waiting around for someone to come pick it up. So I'm just going to clear it as quick as I can. Alright, it looks like I can't look to go top now, because Trinomir pushed it up. <coughs> it's kind of hard to gank as a deer before you get your level 2 boots, just because speed is so important on him, because he can be kited. But you just gotta rely on people not ever warding. Oh yeah, this guy is just derping. You always wanna uh, walk with the enemy when you're um, just like that. You wanna like attack and then walk, attack and then walk, attack and then walk. That way you keep up with them. Uh, that's really really important on Udir because you don't ever wanna fall behind at when you're auto attacking. It's really important to learn how to do that effectively. So now we're going to do some counter jungling. Because Jarvan doesn't do a lot of damage. I think we could beat him 1v1 even though we are a little weak. His red also might be up soon, so I'm going to set up... Oh, it is up. Nice. And my smite is up, so I should be able to grab this. And see, a lot of times, uh, when jungling, you'll sort of get the timers just stuck in your head. After a while, you'll be like, oh, well, he took my blue, and it usually takes me about this much time to get from my blue to red. So you'll start knowing when people's buffs are up, just just by, like, it's like second nature almost. And there he is. Now we're just going to get on out of here. Can't chase you, dear. Driver's only level four. He might have been AFK or something. Alright, so that was just kind of a free kill. I didn't realize he was so weak. Looks like Cho'Gath is coming, but I don't think we have to worry about him. So, yeah, Jarvan just kind of derped right there, which I'm not complaining. That's that's perfectly fine with me. Alright, so it looks like we have enough for Heart of Gold. And... 
I guess I could get Philosopher's Stone. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll decide when I get back to the shop. Depends on what I have enough money to buy. Do not deny your instincts, Summoner. Just gonna keep using Turtle Form for this till Smite is up. Stay in the jungle longer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get Tiger yet. It doesn't look like we're close to taking any objectives, so. Probably gonna look to gain bot. It's <laughs> what a lot of people don't know, like people who don't jungle, is it's really hard to gain bot as a jungler. Because you either pretty much have to have oracles, or you have to lane gank. And because, unless, you know, they're just bad and don't war, but you can't really know that unless you have oracles. So if you want to come through Tri or through River, you pretty much have to have oracles, or it's a waste of your time. And then if, if they're pushed up, then you can't lane gank. So it's, it's pretty rough. Uh, I think I will go ahead and get Philosopher's Stone. And finish my boots. We will not that oh, we have enough rewards too. So we'll get some wards. <coughs> so Phoenix Stance will be max next level, and then we'll be doing pretty nice damage overall. That is our and uh, we're already getting pretty tanky with our Heart of Gold. So that's the goal of Adir, just to be tanky and be a bear stance CC machine. So what we're probably going to look to build next, we might go straight into a Shirelia's. Oh, free kill on Jarvan. Remember, walk while you do it. It's really important. Ah, I wanted that kill really bad. <laughs> so I flashed for it. Oh well. That was just greed. That was greed. I wanted it instead of Wukong. It's always nice to be fed in your guide videos because you can really show people the true potential of... Uh, of the jungler. So that, that's the only reason I flash there. In a normal game you would never flash there. But like I said, this is a guide video and it's always nice to be fed. So that was, that's what I was trying to do. Alright, so we can look to do something with mid here. He'll probably just flash away. Alright, he's running away from his tower which is cool. Alright, so we were able to get him. Now I got my Phoenix Dance maxed. If she takes this race, alright, good. Take my wraith. Who do you think you are? Alright, so um, we've helped top, uh, we've helped mid, but we just need to help bottom now. Bottom's doing okay by themselves, but they're not winning, and I like my wanes, lanes to win, so we're gonna try and make them win. I'm kind of weak right here, but I think I can chance it. Because Vayne, Vayne Nunu is really, really strong, so I think we can chance this. I don't have Flash, though, so it's gonna, they're going to have to bait it. Bait the fight. They're going to have to bait the fight. Yeah, she was able to Flash away, so no big deal. We'll just go back. We've got enough gold to do something. I think I'm going to go ahead and go right into a Shirelia's, because like, a situation like that, if I would have had Shirelia's, it would have been golden, so... <coughs> they were just gonna go right into that. Our instincts are razor sharp. Uh, normally I would go right into Wit's End, but I think uh, with the escapes that a lot of like Trindamir has his um, has his you know spin away. Draven has a speed boost. Lulu has another speed boost. Uh, Cho'Gath has a lot of CC. So I think Shirelia's would be uh, a good pick for the for the lane situations I have going on here. Yeah, once you get your Phoenix Dance maxed, uh, Udyr's clear time is pretty incredible. Just juked out Cho'Gath right there. Uh, this is, this is bad. Ah. I tried to proc my Phoenix Stance to get Trinomir there, but it wasn't wasn't happening. I think overall we came out on top, even though I died and didn't get anything. Bane's about to get a kill as long as Nunu doesn't take it. Yeah, so that was that was definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. So we can go ahead and get our Shirelias now, and then look to go for some Wits End action.
gonna go ahead and buy my normal magic mantle. Or I could get oracles. I think I'm gonna get oracles. I like that idea. It'll help us snowball even more. It's always good to get a early oracles as support junglers. And I would consider a deer pretty good support jungler, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that oracles. And then just clear my jungle, clear some wards, and go from there. Uh, this is not a ranked game. This is a normal game. I don't like to do video guides in ranked games because the quality of games in ranked games is pretty bad. Just as far as people getting angry and yelling at each other and stuff like that. And I don't want that kind of stuff in my guide videos. So. It looks like my team's got that, so I'm just going to take this. Alright, so I know Jarvan is dead. And so I'm gonna just go counter jungle. Save my jungle for later. Our rage is beyond your control. That is our path. Uh there's two of them, so I don't wanna. Alright, I don't have smite, so might not be able to take this from Jarvan, but we'll see. Hopefully I can. Yeah, this Jarvan is just... I'm not sure what they're doing. They keep fighting us even though they're losing. It's not really smart. <coughs> but I'll take it. That's fine. So like I said, uh, when you're fighting as you deer, you pretty much want to um, kind of keep a mental timer of when your bear stance will work. It works every six seconds. Yeah. You just want to keep a mental timer of when that's going to stun them again. And then you just want to switch between Phoenix for damage and Turtle for defense. I can probably just kill this guy to be honest. Alright. Oh, and I still got him. That's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, Trindamir is just not a good champion. I don't know what else to say about that. That was just really funny. I enjoyed that. So there you go. Turtle Stance OP. That's why Odir's so good is Turtle Stance, definitely. Without Turtle Stance, I would have died. Alright, so we're gonna get... Now we have double buff. Uh, our, my team should probably look to do dragon soon. But I don't have smite, so I'm not gonna call for it just yet. I'm just gonna clear this and go back and uh, start on my wits end. Um, normally I would get null magic mantle first if I uh, just didn't have enough money for the whole wits end. But since we're ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the recurve bow. Because that makes sense. Oh, looks like I can get both. Nice. Do not deny your instincts, summoner. <coughs> so it looks like I um. Yeah, I don't like to build Aegis on your deer. I like to do a little bit more damage. So, and also a lot of tanky supports should build Aegis. So I'm gonna let Nunu get Aegis instead of me. And then I'm I'm gonna go clear wards around dragons so we can set up to do that. Let my team know that I want to do drags. Do not deny your and just kind of push some words. Uh, Lulu's a fucking magician. Did anyone else see that? She walked into this bush, brush, and br uh, brush, and now she's gone. It's Houdini. Oh god, that's like eight people. We really can't fight this, I don't think. We can't. Well, if Trinomir keeps running up on us like that, yeah, we can do whatever. It's okay. Alright, we made we made Trend waste ult, so this was totally worth it. And now here comes Wukong. Oh 
Oh my consume? Alright, so we're kiting Azudir. Run, Nunu. Okay, so now we're gonna max bear stance. <laughs> He's gonna try and take the uh, the death. Oh, but Katarina gets it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so that again, that just turned out completely in our favor. So now we can get a free dragon. We got a bunch of free kills. Wukong's pretty fed. Fed Wukong is really, really, really scary. Many people don't realize this, but a Fed Wukong is, is that's some good stuff right there. Okay, so now we're just gonna look through this dragon. Oh, and it looks like they're gonna surrender. All right, <coughs> so um, basically what would have happened is I would have finished finished Wit's end. Um, I probably would have went uh, Phage into Frozen Mallet just because the point of Udir is to stick to uh, stick to your enemy, so Frozen Mallet is really good. From there, I would have got Randowins and probably a Maw Malmortis, just because with Udir's build, you don't get a lot of magic resist. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can check out this video and more at www.doublebuff.net. You can also check it out on my YouTube, youtube.com slash mullylol. And I always stream these guides live and give you guys a chance to play with me in the guides. And um, looks like that's going to be it for today. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.